and I can introduce you and we can talk a little bit more about what we're doing here today. Um, so I'm Brian, I'm a couples and individual therapist in Salida, Ohio. And, uh, and, and I met you because I took the externship, the EFT externship back in 2019. And you were my lovely trainer. Um, and uh, also a wonderful gem of a human being. So glad to be here with you today. <laughs> oh, that is such a nice intro. <laughs> such a nice intro. Wow. Um, I am so excited to be talking to you, to be coming back to the Midwest. I'm actually from, as you know, I'm from the Midwest originally. Mm -hmm. So there's something really special for me when I get to come to the Midwest and talk about this very precious model that we have, emotionally focused therapy, because I, I so believe in what it brings to us as therapists and to our clients. Um, and I am based in New York City. Um, I have been a card carrying family therapist for several decades. Um, did my own EFT externship with Sue, actually with Sue Johnson, the founder of the model in 2006 and uh, do a variety of teaching and practice in New York and in various places across the country. And when we're not in COVID land, also even going to places outside the country to teach. But it's one of the things I'm so excited about is we are actually planning an in-person training mm -hmm. in Toledo. That'd be great. Yeah, I agree. Not many people in Toledo actually know about EFT. So that will be um, really interesting as well to get people, you know, maybe some people more interested. Yes. Yeah. So for folks who haven't heard yet very much about EFT, uh, the way I like to explain it to people is we're all mammals. We're all wired for attachment. And that is, that is something that we're not, uh, we don't have to be taught, you know, to be wired. That's part of our DNA. But another piece of our DNA is that when that attachment gets disrupted, that we protest that. So most of what we see in our offices is people don't come in generally because they're saying, hey, we're really in such a great resonance. We're really well connected. We get each other. We share vulnerably. They come in because that's been disrupted. And there's some sense that this this person doesn't get me, I'm, I'm unhappy, I'm distressed. Usually, I would say 90 plus percent of the time people come in with complaints about another person, about their partner or another person who's important in their life, who's, who they feel is, is not getting it right. And we can really help them make sense of that, right? Part of the, the, what EFT does initially is just organizes that. What's happening to you here, it makes so much sense to me, right? You come in the door and you tell me the only person that greets you is your dog, right? Of course you feel let down and disappointed, but then tell me more. So the way you show that disappointment is you kind of walk around slamming doors, banging cabinets, right? And then that's kind of sad too, because then what you're telling me is the other people in your family are shying away from you. They're getting further away. And then you're likely to get even more frustrated. So part of what EFT does is it helps people understand just in very simple ways, just just like that, just like a pattern that people can fall into unwittingly and make sense of it and make and help them connect that to that felt sense of, I don't want to just be greeted by the dog when I come in the door. I would like somebody else in this family to care enough to say, hey, you're home, right? Right. So this is, this is kind of our entry point into EFT, helping people make sense the good reasons why they're frustrated, the, how easy it is to fall into a negative pattern. And then what we do is we don't just leave them with the insight, you know, it re, you know every, every therapeutic model has a, a, a view of change. 
So for some models, the view of change is going to be, if you understand what's happening, you'll do it differently. But EFT says, no, we're going to go further than that. We want to help you understand what's happening, but we're also going to help you replace that negative cycle with a positive cycle, right? So we're going to actually help people have helpful healing conversations in our office that they can then export to be able to have those kinds of conversations on their own. That was quite a mouthful, wasn't it? Just in terms of introduction, but I get that. <laughs> we, just, we just dived in. And, and so I love it because you really, you really touched on a lot, of, a lot of points about what is it that we're trying to do in EFT and, and specifically EFT with couples and how, how when people come in, in our office, they feel like really unheard really unseen um, and, and how we as a therapist, we meet them and we see them and, and we help, help them see their experience more and connect in more with their experience and organize, organize it all. Um, Cause it's a lot, it's overwhelming. It's hard to organize that by yourself. Totally. It's very hard when you're in the middle of a tsunami to go up to you know 10,000 feet and see what's going on and right. I think that how people experience it they're in the middle of something that feels mm -hmm. awful it's hard to also be in it and outside of it at yeah. the same moment and make right. sense of it I love that you bring in that image um, you know that's one of the things I love about EFT is you know I really think in images and EFT is like you know, let's, let's do things with images. Um, let's capture clients images. Um, let's use our own images. And that's a really good image because that captures like, um, really that people are in survival mode yes. when they, when they come into our office and that they have with their survival mode, they have their protections, their, their ways of staying safe. And, and that's where they're getting caught with their partner. Um, because yeah. their survival protection triggers their partner's survival protection. And uh, around and around, they start to go, becoming more and more, more and more disconnected and more and more polarized. And that's one of the things. Sometimes clients will say things like, how do you get us so quickly? How did you, and you know, while everyone's story certainly has unique aspects to it, there really are just a few strategies that people use when they're in distress, right? There are the people who, if they're upset, they're going to want to follow their partner, their family member around the house. They want to have that conversation. You, We will deal with this right now, right? And there are other people that are like, let's try to chill. Maybe the storm will blow over. They'll go check the mail. They'll check their email. They'll do something. They just want, they just want to go for someplace quiet and hope this will just kind of go away. And some people have a mix of both, but really what we're dealing with a lot, which we call this emotionally focused therapy. Sometimes in my mind, I think it, we're dealing with um, disrupted emotionally focused emotional therapy people are dealing with a disruption to their to their security to their felt sense of wellness and well-being and we come in to make sense of that and then to help them do it differently so, yeah dealing with raw live escalated clients and people are either pretty defeated and so they might even be silent in a kind of steaming kind of way or they're kind of escalated and they're very frustrated and we need a way. That's the other thing I really like is finding a way to move in mm -hmm. and come right alongside those big emotions mm -hmm. to make sense of them. Because it's when people feel understood and seen and felt that they can calm down organically. But I don't know about you, but if I'm really upset and somebody tells me to calm down, <laughs> likely to set me on fire so it just mm -hmm. doesn't work. Mm -hmm. you know, right. I need to come from a sense of being seen heard and understood mm -hmm. then I I can be in a calmer place right so when we have a lot of of um ways we can help people learn how to do that in EMT mm -hmm. 
right? Right. Meeting them in that fire instead of saying, let's take a time out first right. and then let's talk about the fire. Um, exactly. Right. It's a, it's a very different approach from, from what I was using before. Um, and so that's, that's what I learned in the, in this externship was, um, you know, how to meet people in that fire um, and, and how to lean into that place. So, yeah, but it does, it does give you a real map. You know, um, when you think, I, I remember when I was first doing, um, doing therapy and doing couples and family therapy, there was so much going on. You know, when you talk about images, I think of like having a, a box of jigsaw puzzle pieces. And that's what it felt like sometimes. I had so many different pieces of information, but I didn't have a way to organize it, mm. right? And we really find a way to take this and organize it so we understand it, organize it so our clients are fluent in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another really neat thing about this model. When people have a course of EFT therapy, they can pretty much tell the story of what happened in the therapy. They can kind of say, yes, when we came in, I thought it was all this person's fault. They, they were blaming me. We were at each other. We kept going round and round. Then we understood what was really going on and we started to speak, learn to speak more from our hearts so the other person could listen. And we don't get stuck in those patterns anymore. We just, and we understand what to do. So if I start to feel freaked out, if I come in the door again, and in fact, the dog is the only one that says hello to me, I have a way of going to my partner and say, hey, that didn't feel so good. You know, what was up? And yeah. they can respond to me. Yeah, I don't just slam doors anymore and mm -hmm. I hope that somebody will get the message of how much that hurt. Right. And the partner doesn't just like run under the covers because they hear the door slamming. They go, oh, mm -hmm. right. I, you, thank you. Yes. You've said that before. I'm sorry. I was on a long phone call. I missed that. I'm mm -hmm. here now. Can we talk now? So yeah. people have a way of catching each other and tuning mm -hmm. in. Yeah, that's that's a really great way to <clears throat> zoom out and look at the, you know, what's the transformation from like day one or or even, you know, not even just day one, but like even the first couple couple of months or for some people longer than that, they come in and they're in your office and they're they're in their negative cycle. You're seeing it right there in the moment. Yeah. You know, what yeah. happens, what happens at home and how they just keep uh, snowballing together, spiraling together. Right. And then to, to keep helping go into those places and get deeper and, and then to have some success, um, in sharing and, and being felt and heard and responded to and how that builds that positive cycle. And if they do it enough, then they get to that, that, uh, that place that you're talking about where they can, where they can interrupt it, um, you know, in the office, but even, even better than that outside of the office, when they can get to that point, that's a really, a really cool place. And then they can talk about their journey in a very different way of, like you were saying, this is how we got stuck together. And now when that same trigger comes up for me, I have, I'm less afraid to reach. I can reach and I can reach in a way that my partner can respond to me. Exactly. So, so Brian, how would people find out more about how to get, how to get a hold of you, how to get a hold of Carolyn? Like, can you say a little bit more about the, the, the teamwork for, for you and Carolyn, the, 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 the amazing, you know, two of you that is organizing this training and mm -hmm. how can they find out about, about it? Yes, yes. Um, let me let me share the dates, and then I'll talk more about how they can uh, connect and find more information. So it's gonna uh, it's coming to Toledo, Ohio, and it's gonna be here Monday, May sixteenth of twenty twenty two. It will go for four days until May nineteenth of twenty twenty two. And yes, shout out to Carolyn Wenner because she is. I'm so glad she is is you know, leading leading coordinating coordinating this because uh, she's amazing and I'm glad so glad that she's here 
helping us with this. And so she, she has a website that she has, and that's where a lot of this information is at, um, carolynwenner.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post in the, in the notes of this video a link to her website so that okay. people can click on it, people can find out more of the, you know, uh, practical details listed again, and then find out, um, you know, what the pricing is and, and how to sign up and all that good stuff. So I will, I'll post that in the video link. Awesome.